fear is a nasty enemy. I think any man who struggled with lust uh, would understand if I say, yeah, fear is of a similar disposition. It's, it's a different approach to the soul, but it has a similar control potential where it doesn't break easily. It is a long companion for many people. And yet the gospel gives us an outlet of salvation, of deliverance, of escape. And that all stems from the idea of faith. Now, I know this sounds like a pat answer at first, but we're going to go for it here, okay? That when a person, man or woman, believes in the Word of God, it does something in changing their perspective. For instance, if you waffle and waver on what the Word of God says, well, you're going to struggle. You're going to be insecure. You're going to be unstable. So winds and rains start beating against you, and you're not going to be founded and grounded upon something. So therefore, you'll topple. That's what fear is. In a nutshell, it's an instability of confidence on the Word of God. So it doesn't mean you, your feet aren't on it. It just means it's not grounded. You're not fixed to it. Because when the Word of God speaks, it's going to over... I mean, some people have said 366 times. I think Richard Wormbrandt was the one that said it. 366 times in the Bible, it's going to tell you not to fear. I mean, that's a pretty good amount of time. I mean, you, you could try and pick any other topic and you're going to have a tough time finding that many repetitions of it. In other words, God is going out of his way to make something clear. There is no reason for you to fear. Now, our thought back is, well, God, I can think of a whole bunch of reasons. But if you know his word, he's going to make it very clear. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He is your refuge and strength, the very present help in trouble. If you believe that, did you know that it will change your entire relationship to this thing called fear? Fear only can overcome your life and get a grip, like its talons can get into you when you don't believe the word of God. But when you believe it, you smile back. No, well, he's an ever-present help. Right now, he will never leave me nor forsake me. He is my refuge and my strength. You see, if you know the truth of God's word, you hit fear in the teeth. But if you don't know it, if you're wobbly need on it, if you don't truly believe it, you'll be shoved around. So the victory over fear starts with a strong confidence in God's word. When you start believing it, you'll see a breakthrough. Now, I would also encourage you to stand tall spiritually, to know your position in Christ, and push back in the authority of Christ's name. In other words, don't let fear and anxiety, fretting and foreboding, bully you around. You're a child of the Most High God. Live as one. And so, simply put, the recipe for overcoming fear, Jesus. Jesus' word, Jesus' accomplishments on that cross, Jesus has given you everything you need for life and godliness, everything you need to shoo fear out of the house. If you'd like to take these truths deeper, join us here at Ellerslie for one of our upcoming discipleship programs.